Hello everyone, today I wanted to go over something rather quickly. So, I wanted to go over collisions, so ignore the road in the background. I went ahead and removed the collision on this house. I had a comment, I'll put it somewhere on the screen, that wanted to talk about collisions. So, I removed the collision from this house, and now I just walked through it to show you. What we're going to do is we're going to remake the collision, at least parts of it to show you how it's done. So all you gotta do is double click into the static mesh. You can even do it in the content browser. Go up here to collisions. You can do show and then show simple or show complex. The complex collision works, but you don't always wanna use that in your games. So we're gonna rebuild a simple collision for it. So we're gonna go to collision right here. We're gonna do a box collision. Now you can click it, you can edit it into place. And honestly, it's as simple as using these shapes, scaling them, moving them into place. So we're going to go out here, we're going to build the deck real quick. So you can use the same W for movement, R for scale, E for rotation. And uh, you'll just have to scale everything into place using this little green box. And we should be able to... Yeah, you can control C and control V to duplicate. And of course, if you're doing the whole mesh, you'll have to do all of the walls the, and everything. If you want the windows to be able to climb through, you'll have to build the windows separate. You'll have to use smaller meshes and everything. So there we go. That's all we have to do. If I hit play. I mean, of course, I didn't do the fence yet. But now that we've hit play, I can walk up here. There's collision on that. I can walk up the stairs now. And there we go. We've gone ahead and done it. If you have IKs, they should match to the floor. This thing doesn't seem to have the IK set up. But it was just inverse kinematics. It's what let your feet find the floor. As well as your hands find the walls. If you've ever seen that and stuff. But yeah, there we go. We have simple collision for the floor done. I don't have anything on the walls because, as I said, you'll have to build that. You'll just have to go through. You've got box, capsule, and I believe circle collision. And even same thing for characters. You'll build the head with a, with a capsule. Same thing with the neck. You'll use capsules for each individual finger, so on and so forth. Little square for your hand. And you'll just have to build every little piece. And that's actually how you create ragdoll. So you can run simulation physics with that all over the body, and that'll work. But on top of that, we can go to modeling. We can go to, you can also use this with the uh, simple collision editor and you can build it that way. Add box, add capsule, add sphere. That's the simple thing I wanted to go over today. So uh, one of the big reasons that this is important is let's use a cube real quick. So if I use a cube, if I set the simulate physics and I simulate, we'll see. It falls. But an important thing to know, one thing you can do is scroll down and you can use the collision thing for project default to simple to complex collision is simple. And then uh, if you hit play, it no longer works with physics. So re going through, if you want to use your physics, you have to go through and rebuild the simple collision or it will not run physics. Because complex collision does not work with simulate physics. I should even get an error here. Yeah. Simulate physics, persistent static mesh. But it has complex as simple collision. So that's a really easy way to get around it. But yeah, that's how you uh, make your collision work in Unreal. You go through, you rebuild the simple. So simple works with, uh, with simulate physics. Complex does not. Those are two very important things to know. I hope you all learned something from this video. I tried to keep it short, and you have a damn good day. Well, I hope you have a damn good day.